your baseline scanning, you can get four types of ovaries. So first is normal, second is polycystic ovary, third is low reserve, low reserve ovary and fourth is poorly responding ovary. All right. So how do you classify them? Now, as I told you, for example, this is one ovary. You know, how do you measure the diameter? section You take one section and you take the perpendicular measurement. You rotate your probe to 90 degree and you take the third measurement. So this will give you volume. This volume you have to see. So, if we have normal ovary, hai, so the volume is 3.3 .3 to 6.6 .6 cc. If at all we have polycystic ovary, it is more than 6.6 .6 cc. If at all we have a low reserve ovary, it is less than 3 cc. Now a poorly responding ovary and a low reserve ovary are two different things. So what is a poorly responding ovary? A poorly responding ovary can be of any volume. But Increased volume is usually PCO or multicystic ovaries and decreased volume is usually low reserve ovary. Poorly responding, kitne bhi volume ka ho sakta hai, it is just, is it ovulating or not? Is it responding to the drugs or not? Is it getting stimulated or not? Now, a low volume or a low reserve ovary does not mean that it will not ovulate. A low reserve ovary can also ovulate. So you have to know the difference between a low reserve and a poorly responding. Ek hai reserve, that means it has less follicles but it can ovulate. Ek hai responding, that means it does not want to respond to your drugs. So it might not ovulate.